Friends, happy Halloween. We're going to read a story today called Bats at the Library. So let's get started. Bats at the Library. Another inky evening's here. The air is cool and calm and clear. We feasted, fluttered, swooped and soared, and yet we're still a little bored. All this sameness leaves us blue and makes us ache for something new. Then word spreads quickly from afar. A window has been left ajar. Can it be true? Oh, can it be? Yes, that night at the library. The sky is lively as we race, together towards our favorite place. Eager wings beat autumn air. Look, that's it, we're almost there. Then squeeze together, wing to wing, we walk, rock it through the opening. We've waited for this night all year, but this is it, at last. We're here. For most old bats, this isn't new. They've got lots of things to do. They'll flutter off and lose themselves among the books lined up on shelves. Other bats in munchy moods will study guides to fancy foods or hang out by a lamp instead to talk about the books they've read. But little bats will have to learn the reason that we must return. The ones who haven't come before have no idea what's in store. Some of them will drift away and figure out a game to play, like shaping shadows on the wall or wingtip tag along, up around the hall. This big box is loads of fun, blasting brighter than the sun. Instead of copying books from shelves, we can duplicate ourselves. No matter where you look, there's nothing like a pop-up book. The fountain water is nice and cool and makes a splendid swimming pool. Please keep it down, you must behave. This library is not your cave. It's hard to settle down and read when life flits by at dizzy speed, but story time is just the thing to rest a play exhausted wing. And if we listen, we will hear some distant voices drawing near. Louder, louder, louder still. They coax and pull us in until everyone, old bat or pup, has been completely swallowed up and lives inside a book instead of simply hearing something read. All getting very into the story. Look at all the great stories that are being told. Breathless, lost within the tale, no one sees the sky grow pale. What is that light? A lamp? The moon? Our bookish feast can't end so soon. It feels as though we've just begun, but now we leave our books half done. Through the window into sky, it's much too late. We've got to fly. But maybe a librarian will give us bats his chance again and leave a window wide, open wide to let us share the world inside. For now, we'll dream of things we've read, a universe inside each head. Every evening, one and all, will listen for that late night call. Can it be true? Oh, can it be? Yes, that night at the library. <laughs> they had lots of fun, didn't they? Let's look back at one of the pictures. I saw some stories that you might recognize. Who do you think this bat is? Yeah, I think that's Little Red Riding Hood. And look at one of the other stories they're reading. We've read that one, haven't we? That's Peter Rabbit. So they learned about all kinds of different things. Look, this one with his sword. I think that's maybe a King Arthur story. Yeah, or Excalibur. There are lots of neat stories that those bats have read in the library. Do you think bats really go to the library? Do you think they have their own library? I don't know. It's Halloween. Anything is possible. Have a great night, friends. Bye-bye.